Hey guys, it's Emily from J14 and I'm here with Lelon Bowden from Andy Mack and she plays the fabulous Bex that we all know and love. Um, so Bex and Andy have such an amazing relationship. It kind of reminds me of um, Lorelai and Rory from Gilmore Girls. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> so can you just speak on like, you know, their relationship and why it's so special? Uh, Bex and Andy's relationship is so special because Bex is learning to be a mother to Andy for the first time in Bex's life. But she also has this benefit of being a friend and a sister because that's how Andy knows her. So it's so nice to be able to have somebody that you can count on in your life that can provide for you, but also that you can confide in as well, you know? And I think that's what Bex and Andy have. And because Bex is still so young, she can learn from Andy. And so they they have a symbiotic relationship in that sense. Yeah, that's amazing. And with Bex and her parents, they kind of have a little bit of a rougher relationship. Yeah. So do you think that's something that we'll kind of see in season three kind of um, get better? Or do you think she'll always kind of have a little bit of a rough relationship with her parents? I think Bex is always going to be herself, you know, and but I think that Bex in season two makes these big strides to be more responsible and to like learn that maybe conflict isn't the best way to start and end things. Yeah. <laughs> and so I really hope on Beth, Bex's behalf that she does have a better relationship with her parents. And I think we can already see a little bit of that already in season two. And do you think that Bex and Bowie are endgame or do you think that they'll kind of find their own separate paths? Oh my gosh, I, uh, I'm i rooting for Bex and Bowie, I think just as much as everybody is, because I don't know what's going to happen yeah. either, but I mean, also because my co-star trend is just so fun to be around, it's like, yeah, we got to see more Bex and Bowie, yeah. you know? <laughs> so, we'll see. Well, with the whole cast being younger, and, you know, Andy looks to Bex for advice, do you kind of have the same relationship with the younger cast members? Do they ever look to you for advice about maybe similar things? Um, I hope so. I mean, these kids, they're so mature and so smart that I do feel like I'm the one that's learning from them a lot. <laughs> yes. um, but what's great is that we can share our experiences with each other. I know what it's like to uh, be uh, an actor who got started later, and they know what it's like to be an actor that got started earlier. And so when we share our experiences together, we both can learn from each other. What's great about the show is that it does go across multiple generations, and you know, any age can enjoy Andy Mac. So do you find that kind of you get approached by kids and adults? All the time. And I feel like I'm the person that adults feel like they can approach more because it's not weird, <laughs> you know? And it's so nice to be able to hear from fans of all ages. And sometimes, you know, it'll be the kids that come up to me first, but then the adults will come up later and say, and I watch it too, yeah, you know? And, and it's one of my favorite shows as well. <laughs> and that just is really heartwarming. Yeah, that's so nice to see. And can you tell me about a little bit what the cast is like offset do you guys hang out what do you guys kind of do together we totally hang out all the time the latest thing that we've been doing is we've been going roller skating together and so after our cast party we all went roller skating and it was so fun because it wasn't just um, me and the cast it was people from all departments of the set you know anywhere from accounting to lighting wardrobe makeup you know we were all there transportation we were all roller skating together it was so much fun that's so that's so nice to know that the cast hangs out oh, you know so offset too and so Bex has like really cool style she's always wearing cool clothes she's in cosmetology school is it kind of fun to play around with that and do you ever want something from set <laughs> I want everything. I want everything she wears. I mean, I feel so cool when I'm playing Bex. And the the woman who does my hair is so accomplished. And so we get to play around with different kinds of styles. And because I have like a unique haircut anyway, we can show off the, the buzz or yeah. we can like put it down and make it more romantic. So it is so much fun, that aspect of Bex um, with clothes and makeup and hair. It's really fun to be creative with. And is there a mother-daughter relationship in real life or on screen that you kind of took inspiration from? Or is it kind of something that you just had to put yourself in that experience? I mean, I feel like um, 
my mom and I have gone through many stages of our relationship. And so a lot of times when I'm playing Bex, I think about the relationship that I have with my mom, you know, and, and she's, she's tough like Celia too, you know, and in the best way, you know, she's always cared for me. Um, and she's always wanted me to get what I want out of life. And also she's got her own, um, ideas of like how, uh, you know, to be a parent and, and like, I, I've learned so much from her, like for her being a strong parent. Yeah. So it's nice to see these moments of vulnerability that mm -hmm. Bex and Celia have with each other. Cause I'm like, oh, I totally get that because my mom and I have those moments too. That's so nice. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to see what is in store for Bex in season three. Oh my God, me neither. We're so excited. <laughs> well, thank you so much.